Replacement of complex combinational circuits is one of the most common applications of ROM chips. This solution enables us to simplify the design device and reduce the number of combinational chips used. Sometimes it can even help to reduce current consumption and increase the circuit speed. If we view the address inputs of ROM chips as combinational circuit inputs and the data bits as the outputs of this combinational circuit, we can develop any desired truth table for a given combinational circuit. All we need to do is draw up a ROM firmware table that would correspond to the desired truth table. For example, let's consider a rather complex combinational circuit that has eight inputs and four outputs. The circuit recognizes two different 5-bit input codes when there is a zero signal at the enable input enable. When the signal strobe 1 and strobe 2 are supplied, the circuit outputs negative pulses. The output pulses from 1 to 4 are generated at various combinations of input codes and strobe signals 1 and 2. This means that the logic of the circuit's operation is rather complicated and involves quite a number of logical components. But this whole circuit can be replaced with just one ROM chip, for example with the RT4, which has eight address inputs and four data outputs. The five digits of the input code are supplied to the ROM address least significant bits, A, O and A4. The input signal enable to the address input A5, the strobe 1 signal to the A6 input, the strobe 2 signal to the A7 input. The DO memory data LSP is used for output signal 1, D1 for in output signal 2, D2 for output signal 3, D3 to output 4. ROM chips is always selected, that is the control signal CS1 and CS2 are 0. The data memory outputs have connected resistors because the type of the RT4 output is that with the common collector. Now let's make a firmware card. Active output signals are zero, while the passive ones are ones. This means that the majority of ROM cells will have code F recorded in them, thus the output signals are passive. Only the content of the four memory cells that correspond to the active output signal will be different from F. If we take a combinational circuit with a more complex truth table, the ROM functions would be used to a greater extent. Besides, a great advantage of this solution is that if we ever needed to change the logic of the combinational circuit's operation, all we would do is replace the firmware, without having to redesign a new circuit using the logical elements. The ROM delay when the combinational circuit of any complexity is replaced remains that, the, that same and is equal to the delay of the ROM chip address. If, we, if the combinational circuit is very difficult, ROM could even turn out faster. However, the use of ROM instead of the combinational circuit has a number of crepe shortcomings as well. The thing is, the ROM chips are even more sensitive to changes in the output signals than the combinational circuits. The data outputs of ROM circuits may generate short spurious pulses when there is any change in the input address code. That's why it is best to use the ROM as replacement for the combinational circuits that operate in a static mode and when short pulses make no impact whatsoever. We can also use the ROM output signal synchronization methods using the control signals of the chip selection CS or using the output triggers and registers.